Hey, good morning, friends. Today we are in Psalm 36, so I pray that you're blessed as you seek the Lord and that he touches your life today. To the chief musician, a psalm of David, the servant of the Lord. This is man's wickedness and God's perfections. An oracle within my heart concerning, concerning the transgression of the wicked. There is no fear of God before his eyes. For he flatters himself in his own eyes when he finds out his iniquity and when he hates. The words of his mouth are wickedness and deceit. He has ceased to be wise and to do good. He devises wickedness on his bed. He sets himself in a way that is not good. He does not abhor evil. Your mercy, O Lord, is in the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the great mountains. Your judgments are a great deep. O Lord, you preserve man and beast. How precious is your loving kindness, O God. Therefore, the children of men put their trust under the shadow of your wings. They are abundantly satisfied with the fullness of your house, and you give them drink from the river of your pleasures. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. O oh, continue your loving kindness to those who know you, and your righteousness to the upright in heart. Let not the foot of pride come against me, and let not the hand of the wicked drive me away. There the workers of iniquity have fallen. They have been cast down and are not able to rise. So if you're, you're thinking this morning, uh, let's just take a, a couple moments to make some observations. This is an oracle or maybe a mystery that's revealed concerning the, the wicked. They don't fear God. They flatter themselves. They find out their own iniquity uh, when they hate other people. So it's, it's pretty profound there. The words of their mouth are, are hateful, wickedness, and deceit. And they don't do good at all. So the evil is stark contrast to us who walk with the Lord. And he goes on to describe that the Lord's mercy is in the heavens. His faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Righteousness like the mountains. Judgments are a great deep. And how this really concludes that God preserves us, men and women who trust in him. How precious is his loving kindness. God is so patient, isn't he? Therefore, the children of men put their trust in the shadow of your wings. You can trust in the protection of God. I can trust in the protection of God today. They are abundantly satisfied with the fullness of your house. We are so excited. We get to go to heaven. We should be satisfied with the Lord. For you, with you, is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. There's a lot of darkness today, a lot of, uh, what I would say, evil, corruption, and, and ideas that are not biblical, that are pervading our, our culture. But here it says, for with you is the fountain of life in your light, in the light of God, we can see light. We can see what's good and evil. So, oh, continue your loving kindness to those who know you. May God continue his loving kindness to you and his righteousness to you who are upright in heart. If you're like, I want to be upright in heart. I'm not sure that I am. All you have to do is say, Lord, cleanse me. Lord, wash me. Lord, forgive me. Jesus, be my savior. Be my king. Be my God. And he'll come in and he'll refine you. He'll wash you clean. He goes on to say, Let not the foot of pride come against me. Let not the hand of the wicked drive me away. The workers of iniquity have fallen and they have been cast down and are not able to rise. Think about this. There is a judgment. And if you trust in Jesus, you pass from death to life. May we live for him today. May we, by his light, see the light. And may we shine that light today. In Jesus' name.